Folks, as y'all can see, there's my little yarn creel. I'm going to do a little crochet for a minute. Basically, all it all it does is roll back off. Now, it's a little hard to roll. So, all that means is i got to go through, drill those holes out for the handles just a little bit more, make it a little bigger, so that stuff just rolls right off. But it will roll. Like that right there. If I'm done with it, all I got to do is roll them back up. I'm going to do a few minutes of crochet. Run this yarn up. And uh, let y'all see that. So I'm going to take put this thing on time lapse. And crochet a while. Let y'all watch that thing work. Folks, that was just a couple of minutes of that to show y'all rolling that off. I'm currently working on a piece. I already had it started before I did this. I showed it in the time lapse, but working on that piece. See how long that is. It's right at 11 inches. Little ruler there, a little sewing quilting ruler there. It's right at 11 inches. I started out at 12. That thing shrinks up, so we got 11 inches. So I'll make it 11 by 11. Now on this thing, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna glue them horizontal pieces on the bottom. This thing wobbles, so those horizontal pieces come out of the T's on the bottom. So I'm gonna glue them together. Then I'm going to take, get me a piece of plywood, cover the square around the bottom, and bolt this thing to it to give it some weight. I might even put it on some wheels so it'll roll around and uh, work with it that way. I'm eventually going to add me one or two more of these to it, probably two. That way I can have me 12 strands of yarn at any given time and put combinations of two or three strands like I do. Hopefully soon I'm going to try to learn a new stitch or two so I can do something a little different. But that's my little krill rack. That's how it works. It's still a little work getting the yarn on there so that I can sit back and do it like that, but it's a lot easier than trying to pull it out a little at a time from the skein. It's easier than rolling it up into a ball and then taking a little off of it at a time to do it. all that. You can get it all rolled up onto that thing right there. Then just sit back and crochet. As simple as that. I'll tweak it here and there, make it where it does even better and get more yarn on there and or I might just keep it these two and fill it up as I need it. Because I can't work one project at a time anyway. Unless I get two or three going, I'll work on one a while, work on another a while. But sometimes it's best just to do one at a time. So after this, I'm going to be working on uh, that little chair desk of hers. I'm going to take that little piece of plywood and I'm going to put a frame to it with wheels so that she can roll it around and have it in here, have it outside. 
so she can enjoy the outside some with it while she does whatever she's going to do. She got an old chair out there that we've had for a long time that I've been wanting to get fixed up. And she wants fixed up. I'm going to work on that. And then I got a project for a friend that I was going to do. And was lacking some information, but I'm going to see what I can do about that. And I'll be showing y'all that when I do it. But for now, that's it, folks. I'm going to let it go. Bye, y'all.